Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dread Captures. This week we're going to be checking out an unidentified creature running through some fire, a goblin, a potential missing child case, a close call with a mountain lion, and even a bonus feel-good story thrown in there at the end. All caught on camera. Let's get into the stories. Our first video clip comes from a man named Daniel, who was filming a controlled burn on his family's farm in Oklahoma. Ironically, he was filming the burn for one of his social media channels where he talks about homesteading. He's got the fire going pretty well and he whips around the camera to do some commentary. It's really hard to notice at first, but when we zoom in, you can see someone running in the background. Let's take another look. What could that be? It wasn't until about 9 p.m. when one of Daniel's buddies messaged him asking if that was a Sasquatch in his video. Daniel had no idea what he was talking about. He had to go back and watch his own video. I mean, if that's not a dogman or a Sasquatch, then what is it? Who would be running through someone's farm, especially when it's on fire? I'd love to know what you guys think about this one. Our next clip is very mysterious as well, taking place in 2017 in Cambridge, New York. A family was having some strange occurrences happening on their land. One of their younger children and one of the family dogs wouldn't go into the woods anymore. So the family decided to put up some trail cams to try to uncover the mystery. Of course the family knew they would capture plenty of video footage of animals. But what one of the cameras caught made their jaws drop. A young girl appeared out of nowhere. The family was stunned, and when they asked their children, none of them recognized the girl. The family asked neighbors if they recognized the girl, but no one did. A creepier part of this is that there is an urban legend about a young girl who went missing, and the young girl caught on the trail camera looks eerily similar to the girl that went missing. A paranormal expert was brought in, and she said that she could feel the presence of something in the area. I'll let you guys be the judge of this. Our next video takes us to Indonesia, where some dirt bikers have hit the trails. One of the guys has a GoPro attached to his helmet, and what started out as a fun ride would end up shocking them to the core. The creature to the right of the screen darts out onto the trail, causing one of the riders to lock up his brakes and crash. If we rewind, we can see the goblin at the top of the screen. It appears he notices the riders and attempts to get away. He eventually crosses the path and darts into the brush. With the camera still rolling, the riders pull up to where the creature disappeared and take a look. Not too close a look, though. To this day, the riders don't know what they saw on that trail. They hung around a bit before ultimately leaving the area, scratching their heads. Some that have seen the video have speculated the creature was a goblin, dwarf, or some type of elf. Personally, I have no idea what I just saw. This next video shows a creature spotted on hilltop. A couple saw the creature as they were hiking on a logging road in British Columbia. While they were taking pictures of the beautiful scenery, they noticed some movement. When zoomed in, you can see a hairy, ape-like creature walking around, swinging his arms. You tell me what you guys see. A video that surfaced from Lettuce Park, Florida shows what appears to be a Sasquatch or some type of ape walking around in a swampy forest. A man named Matt was canoeing around and saw what he thought to be a bear. But when he saw it walk, he knew it wasn't a bear. Matt reported the sighting to a park ranger, and she said she didn't know of any creature they had in the park with that description. And she even went on to say that bears rarely get into the park, and even when they do, most people don't see them. Many people that have seen this video think this is a skunk ape because of the ease in which he walked through the swampy area. I'd love to know what you guys think. Matt also said that if this is some type of hoax, this person is insane. 
There are 12 foot gators, water moccasins, and other poisonous critters all over that swamp. Matt said he continued to observe the creature, and when it seemed to notice him, he dropped below the water surface and vanished. Matt paddled up to where he was, but he was nowhere to be found. This incredible story took place around Christmas, December 20th to be exact. A Siberian husky named Coda, who was known for wandering, had disappeared. It was terrible. She had been missing for three entire days, and the family started to think the worst. They hadn't seen or heard from her, even after searching the entire valley, both on foot and using a snowmobile. To make themselves feel better, they did joke many times that perhaps she'd made new friends in the valley and was too occupied to come home. Finally, after those three very long days, Coda came sauntering back into the yard like nothing had happened, and she'd only been gone a few minutes. She wasn't hungry and didn't have so much as a scratch on her body. Of course the family was happy, but where had she been? And what had she been doing? They had so many questions for her. About a month later, Rachel's uncle was talking to a neighbor in the valley. The neighbor had a bunch of trail cameras set up for watching wildlife on his property, but he'd been away on vacation for weeks and only just started looking at the footage from late December. And what he caught on camera was amazing. Hundreds of pictures of their husky coda and a buck kissing and sleeping together. Now, I'm sure that's not something you would believe without photo evidence. So here you go. Thank you guys for tuning into this week's episode on Dread Captures. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and we'll see you next week. This week's video comes from Mississippi, the swamps of Mississippi to be exact, and you're not going to want to miss it. We are going to be trying to identify this creature. But before we do that, let me give a little backstory. So this video was taken by a man who was out hunting feral hogs on his property. It took place around 6 p.m., the time the hogs usually come out. He walks through the woods with all his gear, gets to his regular spot, sits down, and happens to hear a noise about 50 yards away. He looks up to notice a big, muscular creature covered by black hair. He was crouched by a dead cypress tree. He carefully watched it, then whipped out his cell phone to start filming. The man has lived on this property for years, and he knew what he was looking at was definitely something that he had never seen before in those woods. Now, let's take a look at this video. Okay, here's the creature in question, the big dark object in the center of the screen. It's not the best video because it's filmed from a cell phone. One of the strangest parts of the video is coming up right here. He rips that piece of bark off or branch like a human. And coming up in a second, he either throws something or pushes something in the water. Boom, right there. You hear the splash. So as you can see, he's just kind of bent over there, either burying something or digging for something. And he kind of pops up, rips off some more branches or bark. Okay, in a few seconds, we're gonna see this creature stand up and I want you to pay attention to the way he does it. He doesn't just use his back. He uses his legs like a human would, standing up out of a crouch position. And boom. What is
is that? So yeah, that was the Mississippi video submission. Let's rewind it and look at some key parts. Okay, here's the first clip when he rips that piece of bark off and then it eventually falls in the water. You can hear and see the splash. I mean, what is this thing? And this next clip is particularly telling. Look at the way this creature stands up. He doesn't hinge his back, he uses his legs and stands up. What is that? Okay, one more time. Yeah, so I'm at a bit of a loss. Let me know what you guys think. Study it, analyze it, do a deep dive, and let me know in the comments what you guys think this thing could be. And especially if you've had any interactions with a creature that looks something like this. I would love to hear about it. But stick around now for some amazing trail cam captures from around the world. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to tell you I saved the best for last to entice you to watch the entire video. And there are some awesome ones at the end of this. But this one, I think is my favorite because of the backstory. So a gentleman had set up a trail camera, not looking for anything in particular, he just wanted to see the wildlife that was on his property. And he got some good stuff, nothing too out of the ordinary. It wasn't until he checked another one of his trail cams nearby that he kept getting this strange image popping up. Now in the picture, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see the outline of the deer. However, the submitter says that this particular deer always shows up solo and always has this transparent look when on camera. And he often sees other regular normal deer. It's been dubbed the ghost deer for now, but I'd love to know what you guys think is going on here. This next trail cam capture is really cool. I love to see how animals adapt to their surroundings. Okay, here we have some local coyotes running off an outsider. Notice how quiet it is. Urban coyotes have learned to be silent or they'll be hunted down. After the battle, the outsider leaves to find a different spot. This next trail cam still captures a doe running through the woods. At first glance, you can see that there's something wrong with her face. My initial thought was maybe that she was hit by a vehicle or that a hunter shot her and didn't finish her off. And when you zoom in, you can really see that the face is elongated. But ultimately, when you switch the resolution from low to high, you can zoom in and really see that she's running and it's her tongue that's sticking out. Which is a little odd for a deer to be caught on camera like that, but I would indicate that she's been running for a while. And when you see the next clip, you'll know why. Someone's dog has taken up chase. And unfortunately, we don't know the outcome of the chase. We'll just choose to believe that the deer got away. This next trail cam capture comes from Idaho, where a gentleman was building on his property. He kept seeing big cat-like footprints, so he put up a trail camera. And obviously he got more than he bargained for. Our last trail cam picked up some cranes walking through the woods, which isn't typically their habitat. It makes me wonder if they're just migrating to a different location or something has pushed them deep into the woods.
All right, guys, that'll do it for this week's episode. Thank you all for tuning in. And as always, like, subscribe. But also, let's start a conversation in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think about all of these trail cam videos. The footage I'm about to show you was captured by a nature lover as they enjoyed a hike through the Appalachian Mountains. However, after what they saw during that hike, I'm not sure they'll be coming back anytime soon. This unsettling video shows an unidentified creature watching the hiker from behind a log. It's very obvious that whatever this is, it doesn't want to be seen. It observes the hiker while keeping the rest of its face hidden behind the log. The animal's eyes appear to be completely black, a characteristic that is frequently linked to cryptids and other beings. And honestly, I've watched this video dozens of times and I'm at a complete loss when I look at this creature. The only thing my mind sees is a sea lion, and obviously they don't live in the mountains. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of information about the person who took this video, but it's apparent there are some very strange things lurking in the Appalachian Mountains. I'd love to know your take on what this could be. An early morning visit of the worst kind took place in Southern Africa when a pride of lions started raiding a campsite. Well, things quickly spiraled out of control. You can see the man is awakened and opened his tent and looked out. As the massive male lion approaches, the man does the only thing that he can do and zips up the tent and awaits his fate. The man must have really felt like he brought a knife to a gunfight. The female lioness is the first to lose interest. And luckily, her male companion follows. After the lions leave the area, the man quickly hops out of his tent and heads to check on whomever he was camping with. When you decide to sleep in the brush of Africa, I'm sure something like this crosses your mind, but it's pretty scary for it to come to a reality. Let's watch some footage with some original audio. You can hear the guttural sound from the lion and the man in the background. Personally, I've never been in a situation like this, but I feel like I would be calling less attention to myself than this guy is. Let me know what you guys would have done in this situation. A hair more gentle than the last video, but still scary nonetheless. Here we have campers filming two lionesses licking rain pellets off the liner of their tent. It's pretty amazing if you can block out the part where you might be their next meal. What would you have done in this situation? For those that don't know, let me introduce you to El Jefe. This is America's only known wild jaguar. He lives in the remote Santa Rita Mountains of Arizona. He is a magnificent creature who again holds the distinction of being the only wild jaguar in the United States. Of course, there are a great number of jaguars living in comfort of zoos across the country, but only El Jefe has the freedom to roam and hunt as he pleases. Authorities have considered making an attempt to capture El Jefe in the past but they ultimately determine that it is more beneficial for him to continue his life in the mountains. Besides, it provides insight into how an animal can survive in an environment that he's not built for. Not only is El Jefe surviving, he's thriving in his new environment. Researchers were able to positively identify the animal as an adult male in the prime of his life who suffers from no serious health conditions, all thanks to the trail cam footage. El Jefe looks like he's definitely living his best life, and I'm sure you'll agree that it's best that we leave El Jefe where he is and continue to admire him from afar through the magic of trail cams. A group of friends went exploring in the woods late one night. 
they brought a camera with them to take some pictures. And as they continued their journey and snapping photos, they captured this one image that none of them could explain. They didn't notice anything out of the ordinary until they examined the photos more closely. One of their photos showed a pale hand wrapped around a tree, as if something was grabbing it. Now, it's frightening enough to be out in the woods in the middle of the night, but capturing a random hand you didn't know was there is terrifying. If you turned up the brightness and zoomed in on where the hand was, it revealed something far more terrifying. As we look closely, you can see a pale and horrifying face peering around the tree, staring right back at the hikers. They were being stalked by some strange creature. And as you can see in some of the other photos, people that have seen the pictures and the kids that took the photographs are perplexed. What could this strange creature be? Perhaps we'll never know. Our next trail camera clip is unexplainable uploaded as a 42 minute long video of a compilation of all the wildlife that the owner was catching. This video was not intended to be scary and the user had no idea that he had caught anything as scary on his camera until he began reading the comments on his video. At approximately 16 minutes and 30 seconds, it shows a clip of a lone coyote roving through the night. Coyotes are pretty typical in this spot and everything seems normal until a gigantic pair of glowing eyes appear in the background. The only thing you can see is the reflection of the eyes were unable to make out what they're attached to. No outline of a body. What grabs my attention is that the coyote notices there's something there too. You can see him looking in its direction soon after the eyes appear. I think we can assume it's a creature, he's massive. So let me know what you guys think. We have a strange creature lurking in the woods. Is it something paranormal? I'm at a loss on this one. Evidenced in a video I posted recently about this unlikely duo, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility for Hunter and Prey to get along. But check these two guys out. Do we think these guys have the same relationship? I'm going to go with no. Even though it's pitch black, you can tell the deer senses danger in its presence. The gator is startled awake, but is none the wiser that the easiest meal he's ever had almost walked right into his lap. Posted in 2020 from New Mexico's Rio Mora National Wildlife Refuge, a motion trail cam has taken a picture of the back portion of a juvenile Rocky Mountain elk. At first glance, there's nothing spectacular about the photo, but if you look closely, very closely, you can see a mountain lion crouched in the grass. This Find It photo had social media abuzz with people claiming that there was nothing in the photo. Can you see the lion? Here, let me help you out. He's almost invisible, and honestly, it took me longer to find it than I would like to admit. Nevertheless, very cool. Comment and let me know if you could see the lion without the help. Filmed on June 28th of 2000, this trail cam footage is both fascinating and terrifying. Even though it was filmed in 2000, not many people have seen this clip. A high intensity fire rolls through this trail and the camera records the scene and the temperature as it unfolds in real time. As the massive and deadly forest fire sweeps through Northwest Territory woods, it's not often it's captured on trail cam footage. Spikes in temperature are easily visible as the camera records them. As the trail cam is first engulfed in flames, the speed and intensity of the fire's growth is truly terrifying. It looks like something from the gates of hell Deer are considered some of the most harmless and lovable creatures, but a little known disease is turning our docile friends into zombies. More and more people are capturing zombie deer on film. An infectious disease known as chronic wasting disease, or CWD, affects deer, elk, reindeer, and moose. It's been discovered in parts of North America, including Canada, the United States, Norway, and even South Korea. Infected deer act in completely irrational and bizarre ways because of the holes that appear in their brains as a result of this highly contagious neurological disease. It's similar to a way an animal acts that has rabies. There's currently no cure for CWD and no way to treat this disease. Luckily, 
there are no human cases of CWD infection, for now. Animal researchers brought in to study the deer have noted that non-human primates like monkeys may be at risk from contracting CWD if they eat meat from infected animals or come into contact with any brain or bodily fluids from infected deer or elk. Check out this video from some campers that captured some footage of zombie deer. This photograph, taken by a trail camera in the middle of the woods, shows an odd eye staring back into the lens. The homeowners had installed a trail cam just to learn more about the forest inhabitants, but they never anticipated capturing such an unusual sight. Everyone has been taken aback and doesn't know what to make of this picture. I have no idea what kind of animal this is. Some people say that it's a dog or a cat, but it looks more human-like to me. There's something about the way he looks in the camera. Seriously, what is this thing? Let me know what you guys think about this. I'd love to know. After that creepy eye staring into the screen, here's a pleasant video featuring a dog that every single night, he will not go to sleep until his entire family is safely in bed. You can see as he checks on each member. If everything is as it should be, he'll head off to sleep by the front door and keep watch. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Dread Captures. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn on bell notifications so you get notified when I post videos. As for now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Our first video takes place in February of 2011, where a family has gone out to do a little target practice. The father has set up some bottles and cans as targets and, as you can see, is showing his son how to aim the rifle. The wife who posted the video said that there was a helicopter circling them the entire time. She thought they might be circling because they saw them shooting in the field, but she quickly realized that the helicopter wasn't after them. In the video, after the son fires the 22, dad grabs the shotgun. He's excited. His father starts clapping and almost simultaneously you can see dad turn his head and he notices the figure in the top right of your screen running. Even after he gets the gun from his son, you can see him look back over to his right. For now, everyone else seems to be oblivious. Let's slow it down. There's the black figure running. I'll highlight it for you guys. In the last few frames of the clip, you can see the figure has gone from running to crouched on all fours on some rocks. Many people that have seen the video have said that the government was on a covert mission hunting Bigfoot. And now, if this creature isn't a Sasquatch or a Dogman or any of the above, what could it be? The only other thing I could think of is that maybe someone escaped from police custody or a jail or he's a suspect on the run. That would help explain the helicopter. I am very interested in what you guys think about this one. Please let me know. Now the backstory of this video is amazing if true. A drone was said to have captured this tree moving violently in the forest. People claiming to have seen something similar before say it is the work of a Bigfoot shaking a tree, which would be a very impressive feat for sure. Admittedly, the more I watch it, the more skeptical I become. Has anyone ever seen anything like this? In an eerie video coming out of a suburban neighborhood in Randolph, Massachusetts, a flock of turkeys are shown circling a dead cat for hours. More and more turkeys began to emerge from the nearby woods and join in on the infinite loop. Very creepy for sure. If anyone has any insight on this event, I'd love to know more. In my last video, I mentioned to someone in the comments that creepy kids scare me as much as anything caught on camera. And this particular girl right here scares the bejesus out of me. So needless to say, our next trail cam capture made my heart drop. Taken at 2.45 a.m. on October 15th of 2015, a trail camera set up to track the movement of gray wolves on a man's property revealed this terrifying photo. As you look near the tree, you can see the back of a young girl 
walking away from the camera. If you look closely, you can see she's clutching a teddy bear or some sort of stuffed animal. What is she doing out there? Could there be a campsite nearby or a home she is sleepwalking from? Is she a ghost? All I do know is that she's way too young to be in those woods at night. A man in Kentucky put a trail cam up behind his house after finding mysterious holes being dug on his property. It's very hard to see the figure against the backdrop of night, but you can see the outline of a man or creature walking. He isn't sure what he's looking at here, and neither am I. We do agree that it looks like a creature with a thick, dark hair, but you be the judge. As far as the mysterious holes, they are still showing up. The following adventure was caught on the next best thing to the trail camera, the ring doorbell camera. And as you'll see, it's quite the mismatch. A 20 pound Frenchie named Jules is catching some shade on the front stoop of her home when three very unwanted guests show up. As you can see, Jules doesn't hesitate and flies down the stairs, ready to fight. Two of the bears that are in camera view are visibly stunned at this little pup charging at them. Jules nips and annoys the bears until they decide to retreat, proving the old adage true. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. And I have a feeling Jules will enjoy all the treats she can handle. Talk about a heavyweight matchup between two of the most skilled scavengers in the entire animal kingdom. A bald eagle squares off with a coyote for what's left of a deer carcass. The video was taken in the Swan Valley of Montana, just north of Missoula, Montana. Two animals with the taste for deer meat. While the coyote has a big size advantage in terms of weight, the eagle's massive wingspan makes the canine look small by comparison. The two animals continue to spar back and forth in this chess match, and at one point, a sneaky crow even tries to get in on the action. Ultimately, the eagle ends up disappearing with the healthy piece of meat in its mouth, while the coyote presumably was able to chow down on the rest. Now, I have seen the following video pop up on social media and some other sites that I follow, but I've never heard a good explanation of what it is. I haven't been able to find where this took place or many other details. What I personally see is some type of strange alien creature crawling awkwardly on a dirt road. To me it seems to be in more of a feminine shape, covered in a grayish brown skin, but that's not even the weird part. Its hands and fingers look to be abnormally large and pointy and just otherworldly. Its head has a strange shape, and at first glance looks like this prop from the movie Alien. Is that what this entire clip is? A prop? A hoax? Or something more sinister? If anyone knows, please comment down below with as much info as possible. This amazing clip captured in night vision shows a mountain lion attack on a deer trying to quench his thirst in a nearby stream. The mountain lion pounces on its prey. When we slow it down, we can see that the deer never saw the lion coming. A perfectly stealthy attack, most likely ending in a healthy meal for the lion. By now, we should all know that moms are the best. No matter which animal species you encounter, mothers are always willing to go to any lengths to protect their young. A trail camera placed near a wolf's den captured a touching moment when a mother wolf has realized that her pups are in danger. The snow and ice around the den was thawing and filling it up with water. This was potentially going to drown the young pups if she didn't act fast. As her instincts kicked in, you can see her quickly plucking each one out to safety. This looks to me like another instance of Mother Knows Best. This photo was reportedly captured on a cell phone in West Virginia. If you're a cryptid enthusiast, then you have no problem identifying this creature. If you're not familiar, this is a photo of Mothman, a humanoid creature with wings. Mothman was first reported in Point Pleasant, West Virginia in the 1960s. A couple reported they saw a large, gray, flying creature with glowing red eyes. After the initial sighting, people came out of the woodwork claiming they had seen something similar. 
The most notable characteristic that they all mentioned was his menacing red eyes. Soon, Mothman sightings had taken over. Research has proven that there are elaborate hoaxes that have been mixed in with factual evidence, making it impossible to say one way or another whether these creatures exist. You be the judge, and I'd love to know if anyone has had any Mothman experiences. Speaking of Mothman, this alarming video had many people stumped when it flew onto mainstream television. A man from California taped this and honestly thought he was witnessing Jesus Christ descend from heaven. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'd have to agree that I see a silhouette of a man and he does look like he's floating down from the sky. The man said he continued to float until he disappeared to an unknown location. The man was also adamant about what he saw and noted that he lives near an airport so it couldn't have been a drone or other flying object because they aren't allowed in the airspace. Could this be something we aren't supposed to know about? Maybe a government entity? Or an alien? Drop me a comment about what you might think this is. Now this clip will get the adrenaline pumping. And finally, at the last minute, he gets him loose. And thank goodness, owner and dog are safe. That's a solid camera capture. Glad everyone is safe. This next trail cam capture is pretty exciting. It was sent in to me at storiesatdread.army by Kyle R. from Virginia. Kyle put up a trail camera to keep an eye on a little path he has on his property. The path weaves and winds down to the water's edge where he has his boat docked. He primarily put it up to just be aware of who's using the path, and he has seen the usual wildlife native to Virginia. Deer, squirrels, all the birds you can count. Probably the most interesting thing he's come across is a flock of turkeys, and a few teenagers looking for a place to hang out. That was until he realized his camera had captured this disturbing photo. The photo shows a seemingly gigantic winged lizard or frog with black dead eyes. I'm literally guessing at what this is. Its wingspan covers the lens and has at least two but possibly four feet with talons. The wings seem to have almost a butterfly pattern on them. Nobody seems to know what this is. Kyle sent it in hoping the creature could be identified. But like him, I've never seen anything like this. Please drop me a comment if you have any ideas what this thing could be. Filmed in Nepal, our first video really caught me off guard. A man was walking his dog in the woods when his dog stopped and started growling at something crouched and hiding in the grass. The dog starts barking at the creature. The man seems to notice and pulled out his cell phone to record the encounter. As soon as the owner started recording, his dog went to investigate what was hiding. And when he did, a huge black creature charged the much smaller dog. And you can tell that this wolf just wanted the dog to go away. He wasn't planning on hurting him. A wolf that big could have easily chased down that dog. I think this is insane. Let me know what you guys think. Our next clip was captured by a hunter. A creepy hand can be seen come into focus and almost instantly you can tell that it doesn't belong to a human. The weird creases on the fingers and if you look closely, the fingers are slender and have long nails. When the trail cam video is slowed down, you can also see some thick hair. The hand looks like it could belong to a huge man or some type of creature. People that have seen the video speculate that this is the hand of Bigfoot. What do you guys think this could be? In an amazing trail cam capture from Big Cypress National Preserve in the Florida Everglades, we see a sneaky bobcat very much interested in raiding an unguarded nest of eggs. But then mom shows up. But the bobcat keeps his distance, knowing the python could crush him to death. The bobcat returns at night and the snake is gone. The bobcat looks like he picks something up with his mouth, right there. A researcher who discovered the encounter checked the nest the next day and all of the eggs had been destroyed. 
This amazing camera capture happened on a small farm when a falcon swooped into the pen and grabbed an oblivious chicken. As the feathers fly and the chicken tries to get away, a rooster makes an attempt at breaking the two birds apart, to no avail. But have no fear, here comes Mr. Goat to the rescue. Mr. Goat flies in there and tries to use his head to break the chicken loose from the falcon. But the falcon is relentless and probably pretty stunned that the chicken is putting up such a good fight. After one more good headbutt from the goat and the hawk realizing it's two on one, he releases the chicken and flies off. You can see the chicken scurry off to the hen house and the goat gets up, probably feeling pretty proud of himself. In Canada, a hunter caught a pretty cool experience on his trail camera. The owner had been watching this deer for the last year or so, and one evening he saw him drift into his camera. A few days later when he gathered the footage, what he saw next startled him, and the deer apparently. A white-tailed buck either shakes his antlers off or hits them against the tree in the background, I can't tell. But either way, the deer sheds them and takes off running. For those of you just as surprised as the deer that his antlers fell off, don't worry. A drop in testosterone after the rut causes weakness in the connection tissue and the antlers fall off. Antlers drop annually in late winter, typically January through March. The dropped antlers are called sheds and the process doesn't hurt the buck. Still cool to see. In the light of day, it's a fact that big cats are always on the lookout for prey. Unless they only act like enemies for the camera. Either way, check these two out after the hard day's work of acting is finished. The trail cam video shows a cougar and a deer walking together calmly in the woods rather than running or chasing one another. The deer is actually following the cat. It's incredible. I'd love to know if you guys have seen anything like this. And on another note, the submission said that this was a bobcat, but to me it looks like a cougar, mountain lion. The tail seems much thicker than a bobcat's. Anyhow, I'd love to know your thoughts on the video and the actual cat in the video. And either way, it looks like the joke's on us. Our next video shows footage that was taken of a crazy looking creature wading in some water, heading towards the woods seemingly posing for the camera. This image has been floating around for some time. Cryptozoologists and other experts have not been able to identify this creature. I'd love for you guys to take a crack at it. Is it a person dressed in a costume or a terrifying river monster? My first instinct, I was reminded of the book Where the Wild Things Are. And if this picture is real, it makes me wonder if there is something special about cryptids and other unknown creatures. It seems that every time one is captured on camera, the pictures are blurry and or the video is too grainy to get a good look at it. I'm not suggesting they're fake, but our technology these days is very powerful. Could there be some type of force field or scrambling power that these creatures possess? I'd love to know your thoughts on this theory and what this creature is. This video shows a pack of wolves trying to push a massive brown bear off a scavenged kill. Now, one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one, -on -one, these wolves would be no match for a bear this size. But with the strength in numbers, they are putting some pressure on the bear and pushing him closer to the retention pond. The bear even takes a swipe, but you can tell there's no malice behind it. The bear seems to be very calm under duress. Eventually, the wolves push the bear away from the rotting carcass and enjoy a free meal. Here we have another video displaying animal bravery. We all know deer are normally very docile animals, but all hell broke loose when this deer saw a falcon dive bomb an unsuspecting rabbit. The deer came sprinting out of the edge of the woods and springs into action trying to separate the two animals. After a brief scuffle ensues, the falcon flew away with an empty stomach and the rabbit scurried off without even a thank you. By now, we've all seen plenty of footage of Bigfoot, but this gentleman took it a step further. He went on a search for Bigfoot's home. He claims he found a strange structure built deep in the woods and decided to set up a trail cam right in front of it. And as you can see, as nightfall came, a shadowy figure appeared behind the structure. And while the night pictures weren't clear, the daylight pics were and they showed a giant ape-like creature covered with dark, matted hair. The man said he had to have been eight or nine feet tall. 
and he also noted a very distinct smell around this habitat. I wonder what the smell could be. And do we think this is real, or is this just another hoax? Now this trail cam capture is just amazing. Wolves, and even more so deer, are very active on trail cameras all over the world. But it's not often you're able to catch a full-blown wolf pack attack on film. Now this particular spot on this man's property is known for deer, and there has actually been a pack of wolves in the area for a few weeks. And one night, the wolves went into attack mode. But unfortunately, I'll have to stop the video halfway because it gets a little gruesome. But rest assured, I'll link it down in the description because it truly is an amazing clip and I want you guys to see it. And let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like this. This next video is absolutely terrifying. News reports that this was filmed somewhere between Qatar and Saudi Arabia by Saudi policemen. The story goes that they were on patrol in a squad car when they noticed a woman on a dark road, steadily walking towards them. She was dressed in all white with black hair, hunched over and using a walking stick to get her along. You can hear the men conversing. Then she eventually starts running towards the car and they are screaming and putting it in reverse. She eventually stops her pursuit and veers off into the dark, but the officers position and shine their lights on her, flashing them at her. She's turned away from the vehicle, but whips around and goes back after them. And you hear them all scream in terror. <laughs> Honestly, I have my suspicions about whether this video is real or fake, but at the end of the day, no matter what, it scared the crap out of me. This video takes us to Iraq, where some kids are doing some urban exploring in an abandoned school. They hadn't seen much outside of what you'd expect to find in an abandoned building. But then one of the boys, speaking Arabic, mentions that his phone that had been fully charged when they walked into the building was now nearing 0%, and he suddenly didn't feel well. His friends probably told him to suck it up and keep moving. And when they do, the cameraman nonchalantly pans around an empty classroom, and you can hear a call to prayer from a local mosque in the background. And they caught this unbelievable footage. The boys couldn't see the headless figure with their naked eyes, and, as you can tell, had no reactions. It was only after they watched the footage back that they noticed the headless apparition walking towards them. Talk about freaky. What would you guys have done? 
On a cold Alaska night, Ian Heinrichs was in his garage workshop when a heater exploded, sending the building up in flames. Local authorities received a report of the blaze, but were unable to locate the remote Alaskan residents among the 75 miles of winding forest roads. When suddenly, one of the state troopers spotted Buddy, the Heinrichs family dog. He was practically standing in the middle of the road. Running on instinct, the trooper decided to follow the dog. And sure enough, Buddy led the trooper right to the site of the raging fire. The trooper was able to radio in firefighters because of Buddy's guidance. The garage was destroyed, but Heinrich's house was saved with only minor burning of some of the window trim. Buddy was honored by the town of Anchorage for his heroics and received an engraved stainless steel dog bowl from the Alaskan state troopers. And if it wasn't for him, I don't want to imagine what could have happened. We would have lost everything and probably more damage would have been done to the neighborhood if it wasn't for my dog. During their exploration of an abandoned insane asylum, a group of urban explorers from Canada come across an extremely disturbing discovery. Let's check it out. Now, because this thing is acting so deranged, some people initially claim that this was a creature or some type of cryptid, not just a person making strange noises. If this is an otherworldly creature that's just found a home in this building, what is it? If this is a person, could this be a former patient or some random disturbed person living in the abandoned building? Or is it all just a hoax? Let me know what you guys think about this. Nevertheless, it's a pretty cool video. Oh my god, that thing's beautiful. <laughs> Two-year-old Peyton Merrick was exploring his grandparents' farm when his grandfather lost track of him. Peyton had apparently run off into the vast woods that surrounded the property. The grandparents searched and searched before calling in the police. One saving grace was that they believed the two-year-old was accompanied by the family's devoted dog, a purebred Australian shepherd named Ashapu. When police were notified, they started an extensive search of the forest that went on into the night for little Peyton Merrick. All of a sudden, from across the field, Ashapu bolted out of the woods, heading straight for the police officers. The quick-witted officers knew Ashapu was trying to tell them something, so they followed him. 
He led them to a secluded barn, but when they turned the corner, two-year-old Peyton Merrick was lying on his jacket, sleeping. Officers scooped him up and brought him back to his parents. Ashapu had stayed by the young boy's side for hours. Dogs truly are the best. This camera capture is insane. A climber on Japan's Mount Fudigo is attacked by a bear. The bear approaches from behind, obviously scaring the hiker. He is able to fend her off as she slides down the mountain. In a statement released by the climber, he said that on his summit, he saw the mother bear and some cubs, and she was most likely protecting them. When this photograph was taken by a trail camera in the beginning of 2013, the internet was ablaze with speculation about the strange hairless creature. Many people believe that the photograph was proof of El Chupacabra, a legendary beast from American folklore that drains the blood of defenseless animals. Some people thought it was a mutated hybrid animal that had never been seen before, while others held the more grounded opinion that this is simply a coyote that is suffering from mange. Whatever the case may be, it makes for an interesting image. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Captured by a geologist who was working in an oil field in New Mexico, many people believe that this is a photo of a skinwalker a mythical creature from Native American legend that has the ability to shapeshift into any animal that it chooses. Other people believe that it is a hoax, claiming that it is a still frame capture from a science fiction movie from the 1980s. Do you believe that this is something from a movie? Or do you see this as evidence that a skinwalker is roaming the oil fields of New Mexico? By now, I'm sure we all know how smart and caring elephants are. They are often seen pulling their offspring away from danger. One instance can be found in the elephant habitat at the Seoul Grand Park Zoo in South Korea. This next clip from Thailand's Elephant Nature Park demonstrates that the selfless acts of kindness exhibited by elephants are not restricted to members of their own species. In the video, an elephant named Kam La rushes to the aid of her favorite caretaker Derek when she fears that he may be drowning in the river. You can see how relieved she is when he's safe. Truly amazing. You can learn more about the work done by this charitable organization by visiting saveelephant.org, an organization dedicated to the preservation of Asian elephants. A trail cam set up in the mountains of southwestern Virginia captured this very strange photo in 2015. The image shows some sort of unidentified animal rummaging through the fallen debris. It has long ape-like limbs, no visible tail, and is covered in dark shaggy fur. When this photo first surfaced, many were quick to suggest that the mysterious creature could actually be a young Sasquatch foraging for food. The creature appears to be very sturdy as the animal grasps the base of the tree stump. It has elongated feet similar to a man's, and its fur is matted on the back, but thin on the arms and legs. Experts drew parallels to this well-known photograph taken in 2007. Bigfoot enthusiast Rick Jacobs managed to capture this striking image on a trail camera in the forests of Northwest Pennsylvania. It appears to be an ape-like creature digging through the undergrowth. When this photo surfaced, several Bigfoot researchers believed it to be evidence of a juvenile Sasquatch. As you can see, the beast captured in this photo bears a striking similarity to the one taken by Williams. What are these mysterious creatures? 
Could these images really be proof that Sasquatches are roaming the countryside? Or perhaps these are chimpanzees that have escaped? Maybe a starving bear? Or something else entirely? You be the judge. If you liked what you saw in this video, be sure to check out this one where you will see more amazing captures. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. The star of our first video clip is quite the character. Standing at only 22 inches high, this is the Vietnamese mouse deer, thought to have been extinct for years. Here is a trail cam video of him. The fanged mouse deer, or Vietnamese mouse deer, is a fascinating creature. This animal is much smaller than typical deer species and is found only in Vietnam. Since mouse deer are so small, they are able to avoid being seen by predators. These mouse deer are very elusive. They have actually been able to avoid being seen for three decades. Beginning in the latter part of the 20th century, reports of sightings of mouse deer gradually dwindled, and then stopped altogether after a period of a few years. Following decades of decreasing numbers, experts had concluded that this extinct species of deer had finally died out. So you can imagine their shock when a hiker claimed to have seen a mouse deer-like animal. Authorities were initially skeptical, but after setting up several trail cams in the area of the sightings, they were able to capture images of this incredible creature. Hours and hours of footage as well as hundreds of still images were captured by trail cameras showing a solitary mouse deer foraging for food and keeping a wary eye out for any danger. Fast forward to today, Researchers are trying to get a count of wild mouse deer and figure out what they can do to restore their population. A man by the name of Alex from New South Wales, Australia caught something absolutely terrifying on his trail camera. The camera was mounted in a very remote area of the woods behind his house. He would occasionally pass this spot when he would take a walk to clear his mind. He said, however, that every time he walked past this spot, he got a weird feeling. It would get really quiet. All wildlife noises would stop. He thought he was entering some sort of vortex or a gateway somewhere. He decided to put up a trail camera. For weeks, the camera didn't catch anything. No creatures, no people, no animals, nothing. That all changed one night as he was combing through footage, and this horrifying image popped up. The footage is pretty unsettling. You can see the creature's glowing dead eyes. Glowing eyes are not generally a characteristic of humans and you can see the head of an odd humanoid alien looking creature looking directly into the camera. Many nocturnal animals such as raccoons and coyotes have glowing eyes, but not generally humans. I'd say this demonstrates that this creature is not human. Some people say the creature resembles a skinwalker. It looks paranormal to me. What do you guys think about this creature? This next video is pretty crazy. Environmentalists immediately started looking for the elk known as the elk with the tire around his neck after his discovery was first reported in 2019. This elk would occasionally appear on trail cameras, including this one used by hunters. So much so that it took them two years to pinpoint the elk's exact location. When they finally succeeded in doing so, they used a tranquilizer dart to take down the elk. They needed him down long enough to remove the tire from his neck. Unfortunately, the elk's antlers had to be removed as part of this task, which probably came as quite a shock to him when he woke up. Fortunately, elk grow new antlers every spring, so he wouldn't be without them for too long. Very cool video. For our next clip, we're heading back to the Appalachian Mountains. An uploader was asking for help identifying some gruesome screaming they heard. They explained that they don't have any neighbors and there are no native animals that would make this sound. Here's the sound captured by the trail camera in their barn. Insane if you ask me. Does anyone have any idea what this could be? The following clip was taken by a TikTok user in the UK. It shows the uploader's cat engaged in a tense standoff with a fox, which he claims was attempting to steal an egg from their garden. This particular cat is not going to give up that egg without a fight, though. Despite the fact that the vast majority of cats would never risk going up against an adult fox, this one doesn't seem to care. The cat eventually gets the fox to back down, with a series of hisses and stern meows before chasing it off. If you haven't noticed by now, take a look at this courageous cat. He's missing a front leg, which makes his victory over the fox all the more impressive. This cat is not one to be messed with.
Okay everyone, since I botched the last Hidden Lion video so badly, I apologize, here's another one. As you can see in the picture, there are two lions lazily laying by this little creek bed. Can you find the third one? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The two male lions are laying down, the female is hidden. Okay, she is hidden right over here. A stealthy little lady. Honestly, she's probably just trying to get away from the guys. There are literally hundreds of thousands of purported Bigfoot sightings each year in the United States of America alone, but only a shockingly small percentage of them have been caught on trail cameras. As we see here in the upper right corner, we can make out what appears to be a hairy bipedal creature leaving the clearing. You can see the back of the animal heading off into the thicker part of the woods. What makes this picture more believable is how the deer is reacting to him. The deer was calmly checking out the trail camera, but is clearly scared of the strangely large animal behind him, and looks to be keeping a close eye on it to protect itself from a surprise attack. I'll leave this one up to you guys. Is this real? Is this just a bear? Or is it another Bigfoot hoax? This next clip proves how amazing cats are. As you can see, a toddler and a cat are just hanging out together. The toddler beelines for the steps, but the cat is not having it. Not on my watch, he says, and pushes the boy back to safety. Another angle shows the cat watching the boy intently as he crawls away. The cat is aware of the danger of those steps. The boy even pauses and looks back at the cat. And boom, he's off to save the day. Just an amazing clip. A creepy surveillance video showed this creature walking down a dark road. The video quality is pretty poor, but you can make out a crab-like creature. What is this thing? What makes it most believable to me is the dog's reaction. Coming up. He glances at it and then gets out of the way. I have very little info on this video, so if you know more, let me know in the comments, please. These next short clips are a little different but part of a really cool series released on Instagram by a channel called The Dark Side of Nature. Check these out and let me know what you think in the comments. The Stygian Owl, also known as the Devil's Owl, is mostly found in Mexico and parts of Central and South America. At first glance, he looks to be a pretty normal owl. He is standard size and has a conventional color, but this guy has one very distinct feature. As you can see here, the owl's eyes are yellow. However, that can change very quickly. These ominous looking birds have reflective discs that give their eyes a bright red appearance when exposed to daylight, which makes them extremely creepy. They have even been confused with Mothman, the cryptid that terrorizes the night sky with its piercing red eyes. Despite their outward appearance, however, these owls do not hold any special powers or pose any threats to humans, but really cool to look at. In July of this year, a man named Douglas Windsor, a Kentucky native, took to Facebook to share some spine-tingling footage that he shot. This was captured on a surveillance camera set up outside his home. Douglas explains that one evening he was checking his security cameras and was astounded to see a gaunt, glowing humanoid figure stalking his front yard. I'd say that was a pretty accurate description, hunched over and moving slowly across the man's yard, with his back bowed and his arms stretched slightly outwards, eager to seize the first victim it comes across. When mainstream news reported this, it didn't take long for other Kentucky residents to take notice. They started sharing their encounters with comparable creatures, According to one Twitter user, they'd seen a pale humanoid figure running across their neighbor's lawn. 
Another mentions something about a creature disappearing into the forest. No one has been able to identify what is on camera. In this clip, we've stumbled on two cats enjoying a romantic night under the stars. Caretakers explain that it didn't take long for these two to become acquainted. They have a very unique bond, and now they're inseparable. Predators like the mountain lion are textbook opportunists. The meal that presents the least amount of challenge is the one they will always prefer. They are stealthy and hunt primarily by their sight. As I play this next video, we can see two small dogs in a snowy courtyard. The owners most likely were letting them out one last time before bed. The dogs are sniffing to do their business and you can tell they sense something is in the area. One dog actually sees the lion at the entrance, but luckily the gate is closed. The lion slinks away to set up his attack, and there he is. He makes quick work of that partition and lunges to get one of the pups. Thankfully, mom isn't far behind and flies out of the house to somehow prevent the lion from making off with one of her babies. She wasn't letting this happen on her watch. Let's take another look at the lion coming over the wall. Look how big he is, freaking huge. I often forget how big these animals are. I hear the word lion and the first thought that comes to my mind is a huge African lion. But these mountain lions are big too. Look at this thing compared to the woman. You have no shot against this animal if he really wants you. One last thing to point out is that if mom had decided to walk her dogs, unfortunately she might have been the meal. Especially since it appears she's in a fur coat of some sort. Luck was definitely on their side. There are many videos and pictures and claims of people capturing UFOs from all around the world on the internet. It's hard to tell which ones are credible. Some of these documentations come from people that have a vested interest in you believing what they tell you. Others just come from whack jobs and some are just downright fake. This next clip is one of the best videos suggesting there is something in our skies that might imply humans aren't the only ones living on this planet. This video was captured by a man named Carrie. Carrie and his family moved out of the city and took up homesteading in the Wisconsin country. They filmed their lives for the YouTube channel called Homestead How and shows different styles and tactics of homesteading. So he was not expecting to capture this on camera. His family crowds around the computer and they see one of the photos in question. And when he zooms in, you can see that it looks exactly like a UFO. His daughters are kind of giving him a hard time, but Carrie is adamant that he didn't do anything to the photo. He didn't apply any edits or special effects to it. To further prove his point, he crops the picture and blows it up, and as you can see, there is definitely something extraterrestrial about this image. The circular shape of it and even the spotlight coming off of it. I mean, what is that? I've seen those spotlights off helicopters looking for a runaway fugitive, but that thing is definitely not a helicopter. And I have to admit, while I have no idea what this thing is, I'm with Carrie. I think it's a UFO. At the very least, some type of government vehicle we don't know about. I'd love to hear what you guys think it could be. I'm all ears. Some people see bears and think that they're soft and cuddly and cute and at the very worst that they are overprotective of their young. But lest we forget that these animals are apex predators that have to eat. This next video is insane. This terrifying event occurred in Whitefish, Montana. Filmed by an unsuspecting tourist on a chairlift, the bear emerges from behind some low brush and heads straight down the mountain for the biker, who was riding the trails of the closed ski resort. As the bear is charging down the hillside, you can see that he's taking the angle towards the rider, gaining ground by cutting through the brush. The video cuts off just as the mountain biker enters a thick forest with the bear hot on his heels and just before the course takes a sharp turn. Even though the pursuit took place at an out of season ski resort, the Montana Knife Company was the first to release the tape. The video was captioned with a brief warning saying, Montana is not Disney World. Even though there's no on-record statement from the rider, those in the area insisted that he was okay. 
For me, it would be fascinating to learn when, or if he even recognized that the bear was chasing him. Feral hogs are extremely detrimental to natural habitats and endanger native plant and animal species. Once they've established themselves, they are nearly impossible to eradicate. Adult feral hogs have no natural predators aside from humans and exhibit very high reproductive potential. But we have seen hogs be helpful in certain situations. For example, this raccoon using a hog as a step stool slash getting a literal piggyback ride to get to the corn feeder on this property. Some might argue these hogs aren't all bad, but when they get a look at this next unexplainable photo, they might have a change of heart. Here you can see some type of skeletal creature with glowing eyes riding bareback on a hog. If you look closely, you can see the creature holding a spear, and he has what appear to be wings. Others that have seen this photo say that the wings prove that he is a fallen angel, but I'm not so sure. Not much is known about this picture circulating, but if a trail camera really did capture a mystical creature riding a hog, it's pretty incredible. Personally, I'm leaning towards this being a hoax, unless anyone has any ideas of what it might be. This next video shows bears in a more caring, docile way. Filmed by a wildlife photographer in Montana, you can see a mother and her cub in a tree. The cub looks to be a little too high in the tree and possibly even stuck, but soon you'll see why. As the mom hits the ground, a pack of coyotes run her back up the tree. The coyotes most likely more interested in the young cub than the mother. This next video shows a little softer side of coyotes and dare I say coyote bear friendship? These two were caught on a trail camera strolling through South Naples close to the Naples Beach Hotel and Golf Club in Florida. I've posted a few instances of different species of animal caught on trail cams together and just like those this one makes me wonder what these two are up to. The trail cam owner says he suspects that the coyote is using the bear's keen sense of smell to locate food. I think it's more likely that the bear is luring the coyote because the coyote is going to be its food. Or perhaps they're just using the same trail at the same time of day by chance. With deforestation, bears and coyotes have been pushed into more urban areas. So it's crucial to keep certain attractants like trash and pet food under wraps and to keep an eye on any livestock or pets on your property. Attacks on people are rare and seldom result in significant injuries, but they have been on the uptick. Personally, the coyote isn't the one I'm worried about. The bear, on the other hand, well, we know how that attack would likely end. Rut or rutting is a term used to describe the behavior of deer or moose during the breeding season, when males pursue females that are in estrus and ready to breed. Some hunters believe the first rut happens when the cold snaps. Regardless, the first sign of rutting behavior is often sparring amongst the bucks. These spars are usually short-lived, high-intensity pushing and shoving matches. I'm sure everyone watching this has seen a deer in rut, and maybe even elk, but have you all seen bull moose in rut? Well, this video shows just that. Two bulls square off in a Colorado man's driveway. The sound their antlers make is incredible. They smash into the vehicles, there goes a mirror, and they eventually end up in the bed of the man's pickup where one of their antlers gets stuck. You can tell by the pause that when they're in the truck, they've realized they've gone too far. They overdid it. Just an incredible camera capture. Pixies, fairies, elves, and the like are all mythical creatures of British folklore. Many people have a deep-rooted belief that these creatures actually exist. Pixies, in fact, are said to be helpful to normal humans, sometimes helping needy widows and others with housework. They are not completely compassionate, however, as they have a reputation for misleading travelers, hence the phrase pixie lit. Via his YouTube channel, Erwin Saunders has been tracking the whereabouts of a group of pixies whom he calls wilderness folk in the remote English forest for 25 years. Let's take a look at a clip. In this clip, as he's setting up for a video, a group of pixies shows up and are intrigued by what's going on. Erwin and a colleague are set up in camouflage some yards apart 
while you can see the pixies scurrying around on the ground, eventually surrounding the one man. Now, at first glance, I'll just say it, they look real. Now, of course, I don't know if they are, and I'll say this. The pink children's walkie-talkies don't lend much credibility to the whole operation, if you ask me. But Irwin has dozens and dozens of videos on his channel featuring these pixies, so I'll let you guys decide. Nonetheless, very entertaining. Let me know in the comments what you all think about these pixies. Are they real or just really well done CGI? This next video was caught on a security camera on a dark alley type street. A young kitten has been bombarded and cornered by a wild pack of aggressive street dogs. A cat is no match for even one of these dogs, let alone an entire pack. The young kitten does its best to fend the dogs off, but it's just a matter of time. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Mama Cat comes flying in to protect her baby. She's swatting and clawing and hissing and wreaks enough havoc for the dogs to change focus, allowing her kitten to slip away. Once they back Mom into a corner, as cats do, she thinks quickly and is able to escape the scene, as you can see in the upper left of the video. All in all, just another instance of motherly love. In 2009, a YouTube account named Yevgeny2000 was created to upload a single mysterious video of a supernatural encounter in the Russian wilderness. It promoted nothing, didn't ask for likes or subscribers or for you to tune into the next one. There was no eerie music, just one singular video. The video starts by showing a dog named Tarzan visibly intrigued or bothered by something. As Tarzan takes off on the path and the camera follows him, you can clearly see what is bothering him. At the end of the clearing, you can see a woman and a child. Notably, one is firmly on the ground while the young girl is levitating in the air. Assuming the woman is the child's mother, she doesn't seem frightened at all. She's just standing there watching her daughter float. She eventually notices they're not alone as Tarzan comes running up to them. The video shows the child breaking the levitation and descending back to the ground, where her mother grabs her and they quickly flee the area. As we play it back, we can see the young girl casually hovering in the air, or as others have speculated, maybe it's the mother holding her up in the air with some of her telepathic powers. Personally, I picture a scenario where the young girl possesses these superpowers, and to harness them, her mother has to take her to a remote place to exhaust these powers. And if none of this is true, and this video is just a fake, why upload it in the first place, and never post another video ever? What would prompt him to do that for seemingly no benefit? Let me know what you guys think about this video, and if you've ever seen anything like this, or know more of the backstory. It's been well documented that dog is man's best friend. They almost never seem to let us down, and they often know exactly what we need. And that is definitely the case in our next video. Haley Moore and her dog Clover became best buds as soon as she laid eyes on Clover. Clover is a Merima sheepdog, and the Moores have had her for roughly two years. On March 16th in Ontario, Canada, Haley was taking Clover for their daily walk. About five minutes in, as captured in this video, Haley begins to get woozy, collapses, and begins having a seizure. You can see Haley is fighting to get up, and that's when Clover springs into action. She manages to get Haley to roll over and gets her off the cold snow and ice and closer to the dry pavement. Clover is circling and barking, trying to help Haley regain herself. She realizes there is really something wrong, and she can't help Haley. You see Clover glance over at an approaching truck, and that's when she decides she's going to flag this guy down. Clover slowly positions herself in the road in front of the man's truck, softly wagging her tail to signify she's not a threat. The Good Samaritan leaps out of the vehicle and immediately begins to help Haley, ultimately calling 911, getting her into an ambulance into the hospital. And amazingly, Haley was able to make a full recovery. But another amazing part of this story is that the Moors had no idea that Clover had been the one to stop the man that helped Haley. 
they thought the man had just been driving down that particular street and saw Haley on the ground. It wasn't until a news station reached out, interested in airing the footage of Clover saving Haley. They were blown away. Fighting back tears, Haley's mother said, quote, we would have done anything for Clover, and now we know she will do anything for us. Just an amazing story. This is a really cool trail cam capture here. As you can see, a little squirrel is just foraging around, minding his own business, when all of a sudden out of nowhere, that guy tries to make him a meal. Unbelievable. I picture the hawk just perched atop his tree and waiting for the absolute right time to strike. I mean, he came in there like a speeding bullet. You can also tell that the squirrel at the last split second must have changed his position or ducked, but somehow got out of the way. A hawk wouldn't have misjudged his attack like that and slammed into the tree if he hadn't been caught off guard. It appears this little squirrel will live to fight another day while the hawk goes back to the drawing board. This next short clip may help explain that last video and how the squirrel avoided the hawk. Perhaps it's their will to live. Look at how this thing hits the ground. Boom, and he just scurries away. He didn't even hesitate. Let's watch it again. This tree is huge and this little guy just rides it down, smashing into the earth and he's gone. I'm amazed he ran away from that. We've seen some videos of feral hogs and boars in the past, and if you know anything about them, you know how dangerous they can be. They've become a big problem here in the United States. They have virtually no predators outside of us humans. In this next video, honestly, I have no idea what this guy's doing. You can see the hog near the brush pile, and as the dog lunges at him, the hog veers off and goes after the man. I mean, have your gun ready for God's sake. The boar knocks the man over, but doesn't pursue him much more. Luckily, the dog distracts the boar and the man is able to get up. A very strange part of this video to me is how easily the man is able to pin that huge hog down. I'd love to hear some ideas from some experienced hog hunters. There's no way that man should have been able to pin that animal. I'm thinking the dog must have been chasing the hog and tired him down. That would explain the ease in which the hog submitted, and I guess also explain why the man didn't have his weapon drawn even though he still should have. Let me know in the comments what you think about this capture and if you have any experience hog hunting. The following video depicts a softer, more familial side of wild hogs. Farmers are harvesting their corn in this video when they spot some movement inside a little cluster of corn that is yet to be knocked down. As he approaches, a family of pigs run out and they narrowly avoid being clipped by the harvester. The hogs are able to flee across the field and into the woods. Cornfields are said to be a favorite of hogs, and when some of the corn is soaked, it emits a distinctive odor that attracts the feral pigs. I bet a close call like this one is probably why some farmers harvest the cornfields from the middle. Plantation workers in the deep forest of Burma, a country in Southeast Asia, had been seeing a strange creature showing up on their property. He would show up at different times, during the morning or around dusk. One day, he wandered onto their property, and what they captured on the next video blew them all away. Here, the creature is crawling over some down vegetation. It looks like some kind of leopard or panther or big cat-like animal to me. He definitely seems weak as well like he has no energy or strength. The workers are unsure of what to do with him, but somehow get him into a cage, and he's pissed about it. The claws this creature possesses are incredible. You can see his long, deadly claws wrapped around the metal cage. He even rips at the cage with his mouth. At first, I thought the only formidable thing about this guy was his claws, but then I saw his bite strength as he tore through portions of this metal cage. The creature's frantic efforts to escape the confines of the cage resulted in several broken teeth and bleeding of the mouth. Many natives believe that this is the legendary water monster, a figure from Chinese folklore. Others believe that this is a small sun bear that could have gone bald as a result of the polluted water near his home. 
However, no one knows for sure what it is or where it originated. But whatever it is, you can tell that it possesses some real power. Let me know in the comments if you know any details about this creature. This next video is amazing and was taken by two friends that were coincidentally going to check their trail cameras. While they were walking on the trail, they noticed what they thought was a dead deer ahead of them. When they got closer, they realized she had been tangled in some old barbed wire. One man begins to cut her loose. Even when she's free, she doesn't move. The man notices her neck is twisted in such a way, but eventually when she realizes these good men are here to help, she's off. We've all seen the like of werewolves in movies and know of documented case of dogmen, but I'm not sure any of you have witnessed anything in the wild like this before. I certainly don't believe I have. In the next image captured by the trail cam, we get an excellent look at what can only be described as a wolf-man hybrid, an apex predator, and a terrifying monster that is similar to what was described in an encounter that is known as the Beast of Bray Road. According to legend, the creature was first seen in 1936. Several supposed witnesses claim the beast left extensive scratch marks on their doors and trunks. One witness reported that she collided with something while crossing Bray Road. When she got out of her car to see what she had hit, a big wolf-like thing with red eyes followed her back into her car, leaving claw marks on the rear passenger door. Animal mutilations have also been recorded in the vicinity of Bray Road with animal corpses, including deer and livestock, half-eaten and specific organs removed from their bodies. To this day, reported sightings continue. Most recently in February of 2018 and July of 2020, in Spring Prairie and Lyons, both in Walworth County, reported witnesses saw a big, hair-covered upright monster. Is it possible that this really is the beast that lives on Bray Road? In this next capture, as the number of incidents in which cattle were slaughtered by an unidentified creature continued to rise, fear began to spread. Residents of this Puerto Rico town thought they might have a chupacabra on their hands. The chupacabra has been a legendary creature in parts of the Americas, with its first purported sightings in Puerto Rico in 1995. The name comes from the animal's reported vampirism. The chupacabra is said to attack and drink the blood of livestock including goats. As the time went on in Puerto Rico, detectives began looking at the dead bodies of the animals that had been harmed. They all had fang-like holes on the sides of their necks, but they found no evidence that would help them identify the ferocious animal that was responsible for these attacks. There were strange footprints that were found close to the scene of the attack, which led some people to believe that a lone wolf was responsible. However, that didn't seem to be the case. Wolves hunt to eat the meal, the meat that their prey provides them. It would be very unlikely for a wolf to leave a meal they had worked hard to kill, and they surely don't have the capabilities to drink it dry of its blood. The investigators were told by some of the eyewitnesses that it was something that resembled an ape, and they began calling it a chupacabra, due to the fact that it predominantly attacked goats and other farm animals. This case was never solved, and the investigation never closed. I'd love to hear your theories about this. What type of animal leaves those fang-like marks? An apple farmer in North Georgia was dumping old, imperfect apples in a spot in his woods. He would occasionally see deer and raccoons, other small critters on his trail cam. One day he even saw a mother black bear and her cubs, and he figured they must have just been passing through. But 10 days later, his trail cam spotted this picture. While bears are of the order carnivora, they are technically omnivores and 80% of their diets include plant matter, with only 5% coming from meat. So a pile of apples in the woods is a sure thing for a bear. Anyhow, I'm sure it goes without saying, but he was pretty surprised. From this cam photo, you can count 12 bears. They probably feel like they've died and gone to heaven, with a few bears just sitting on top of the pile of apples. This is a great capture.
This next trail cam capture is one of two. This one comes from Jaime in Northern California. Jaime is an avocado farm ranch hand. He said his boss had been setting up trail cameras for two reasons. One, apparently, avocado farming is highly competitive and they had been experiencing some trespassing and minor vandalism. And two, that one of the dogs on the farm was killed by something and they all suspected a mountain lion. The owner had been setting up trail cameras all over the property for weeks, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive mountain lion they suspected was in the area. But one morning when he checked the footage from one of the cameras, he got much more than he bargained for. There on the screen was a strange and unsettling image. A pair of claws and feet with long sharp nails. He didn't know what to make of it. Like the rest of us, I'm sure, the first thing he noticed was the fur. This was definitely not a mountain lion, but what was it? And to me, the nails look like something from the Ice Age, prehistoric times. Jamie said his boss took it to his grandfather and was told a story about a creature that lurked through the mountains long before the farm was there, and some of the strange encounters the older man had had while on the property. Reluctantly, he didn't give many details, but nevertheless, no one was able to identify this photo. I'd love to know what you guys think this could be. Our next video captured is that of a hero dog named Henry. Pictured here is Henry, a very persistent eight-year-old Boston Terrier who unexplainedly kept barging into his human sister's nursery. The video starts as Henry's owner films Henry, asking him if he had gone into his nine-month-old sister's room as he sits behind the couch. Henry, did you open your sister's door again? It all started when Henry began acting a little strange. The baby was sleeping, but Henry wouldn't leave her be, something he normally doesn't do. Kelly and her husband explain that every time they shoot Henry out of the baby's room, once they turn their backs, he would go right back in there. Now he was starting to bark and be more persistent. He wouldn't leave her side. Kelly and her husband knew their daughter had a cold, but Henry is the first one that sensed things were taking a turn for the worse. His baby sister wasn't able to clear her airway and was unable to get oxygen and she had started to turn blue. Once the couple noticed and checked on her, they rushed their baby girl to the ER, where doctors were able to clear her airway and get her back home later that night. The family said that Henry will definitely be getting extra Christmas presents, and he also has a very nice steak dinner in his future. The family says they feel forever indebted to Henry, and they knew he was special, but they didn't know he was also a hero. The next video was the second of the two submissions, this one coming from a man and his family. He requested that I not mention the town he's from or his name, so I'll refer to him as Jeff. The man writes that his family lives about halfway up a section of the Appalachian Mountain Range in eastern Kentucky. Jeff lives with his wife and teenage daughter. He goes on to explain that there is a popular camping site slash destination a few miles from his home. The place is popular for tourists, but locals also enjoy spending time there. Jeff said his daughter had recently heard grumblings at her high school about strange things and sightings happening up on the mountain. Jeff thinks it's important to note the dynamic between the kids at the local high school. There are essentially two groups. The kids that live up the mountain, known as the mountain kids, and the kids at the base of the mountain that are closer to the town, whose families are most likely more fortunate and often look down on the mountain kids. Anyhow, the town kids start asking Jeff's daughter about these sightings. They seem really intrigued, but she hadn't heard or seen anything. She figured it was just her classmates trying to make something out of nothing. Most of the town kids often looked at the mountain as a mysterious, creepy place, and the mountain dwellers were all weirdos. She eventually mentioned what the kids were talking about to her dad. He had a good friend at the ranger station, and ironically, the ranger had been hearing about the strange sightings as well. The ranger told Jeff he had set up a few trail cameras and would keep him posted if he found anything unusual. On his way home, Jeff said, screw it, I'm going to set my trail cams up too. Jeff's a hunter, so he has some laying around, eventually setting up three, one at the back of his house and two deeper off into the woods that was closer to a popular trail. Every few days, he would check them. He'd catch the normal forest stuff, 
but he started to pick up a pattern, one thing in particular. His dog Moose would not leave the small area behind his house, which was really strange because Moose would sometimes be gone from sunup, well into the night. Moose was a chocolate lab and he loved to explore. The two cameras that were farther away from the house proved to be more fruitful, but what he caught on the one close to his house? Well, it's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. This is what he captured. Now, I don't know what this is. At first glance, my mind tells me it's some sort of alien because of the glowing eyes, and even because of the oddly shaped head. The picture is a little blurry, so you can't make out many facial features. But notably, humans don't tend to produce any eye shine, like an animal such as a cat or a deer might, so that makes me wonder. Another strange part is that the creature doesn't seem to be wearing any clothes, but its body looks very much like a human's. Especially if you look closely at the legs and arms, you can see small bicep muscle definition and definition in the quads. However, when you get back to the hands, that's where things get sketchy again. The fingers look long and pointed, and the being could only have four fingers, you can't tell. I also can't decide whether this creature has crawled out of the woods and was startled by the camera, or he's in an aggressive stance waiting to rip the camera off the tree or even pounce on something. Jeff is at a loss. He's lived in those woods for a long time. He sent it to his park ranger buddy, and he didn't know what it was either. Jeff writes, In full disclosure, there are some sketchy everyday things that happen in the Appalachian Mountains. We've got unidentified creatures, to methamphetamine labs, to drifters and criminals hiding out on the mountain trails. So capturing odd sightings on camera aren't as crazy as they would be in other parts of the country. Well, this photo is insane. Anyhow, I'd love to know everyone's thoughts on this. Has anyone had a similar sighting or from the areas near the Appalachian Mountains that can confirm? I'd love to know any and all details and to continue the discussion.